here's an example of the gable roof framing. And here you can see where we actually have, we're going to use individual studs, gable studs, to fill this area in instead of having a gable truss, which is what we had in the previous example for this type of house with a truss roof. Again, on the other side, the gable, gable wall. Same thing with the front of the garage. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this area is done over here. And uh, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail here, just kind of using the pictures to show you how it's done. And this right here could create a problem underneath if you weren't going to use any blocks. And this, this was just going to stucco right up. This would need to be filled in or this area would need to be redone a little differently. The garage roof rafters and in the model here I'm using 2x10. They're 2 foot on center with rafter ties that are 48 inches on center. And I believe if you saw one of the previous videos where I went over the rafter ties in the ceiling joists, this is the model that I used. The fill area will need some type of a plate on the top of the roof. And then, of course, the rafters would fill in. And, of course, this one here has ventilation holes also. But this could actually, you might, they might need to be a little larger. And the reason for that is I don't have it in here right now, but this wall would need to be a firewall. So there would be, there, this wall would need to go all the way up to divide the home, just in case there was a fire in the garage that it wouldn't come into this area. And uh, I, I'm going to make other videos on this different part of the house. I've got a lot planned for this particular project that I'm doing. And I'm going to have a playlist also with all the videos that I've made on them. So you can always check them out if you're viewing these at a later date. And again, this is these rafters here would not have any tails on them like you do, like you see here, any of the overhang um, extended. So top view of it here. Now these rafters are 16 inches on center, two by 10 again. The blocks here are shaped so that they can get a nice perimeter nailing. Our outlookers for holding up the fascia board right here, notched into the roof rafter at the end. And then, of course, the ridge, if it's a 2 by 12 would need to be notched because I think I'm using 2 by 8 on the exterior here. Same with your rafters. The rafters here, you can see, would need to be shaped also to fit maybe 6 inches wide to fit under the 2 by 8 Your gable studs here, 16 inches on center. Another view of it here. And I'm going to put a link in here. Some of you might find it interesting. I have a formula that uh, my dad shared with me a long time ago for cutting gable studs if you ever want to use it. Take a look at it. A brace here with our collar ties. Collar ties 48 inches on center. The sway brace here is used to keep the the ridge lined up so that the walls uh, gable studs aren't leaning out so this right here will hold that in place hopefully until the roof is sheeted and of course you can put some some type of um, wall studs i'm trying to vertical vertical bracing in here to hold up the ridge this is common and of course it would sit on a load bearing wall. You don't want this to be sitting on something else like a ceiling joist or, you know, I've seen these people, I've seen them put them on non load bearing walls. Hey, um, knock yourself out. This is actually a load bearing wall here because of the ceiling joist. And I will be making another video about the ceiling joist. You can see here where it's underneath. I got two studs holding it up. Give it some extra strength. And that is it for this video. So 
hopefully it sheds a little more light on how something like this would be constructed. And again, check out the playlist. If you haven't, there will be a link at the end of the video for the playlist um, for this type of construction. I plan on making a few more videos on this and then I might change the house design and go to something else. But I, if, if you like these videos and you want to see more of them, hit the thumbs up button. 